I'm really excited to be bringing a playthrough of Fighters of the Pacific to you here today. I'm trying out an experiment. I'd love to get your thoughts on it. Please join me here today on Legendary Tactics. So this experiment is, uh, this game is, is basically a plane to plane uh, fighting, dog fighting type game. Uh, we've got the U.S. Uh, fighters on the on the left and the Japanese fighters on the on the right, and I thought this game lends itself pretty well to stop motion, and so I thought, well, I, let's try this as a format. Let's see how this goes. And uh, here's a shot of the board. There, we're going to go to turn two. Um, everyone's just charging at each other for the first uh, bit. Um, but this, uh, and I'm going to move the planes uh, in groups where it makes sense and then individually where uh, I felt it made sense. Um, but I thought this was uh, kind of a neat format to experiment with uh, to, to try out a new way of presenting this type of game. And I think it lends itself particularly well to this uh, this uh, this game. Um, the game itself is a quite a simple um, dogfighting game. The mechanics of it are quite uh, straightforward, even though I did make some mistakes here, like for example, um, the range uh, of the uh, of my uh, American planes there could have uh, taken out those zeros, but I, I didn't do that. It's okay, we get them in the end. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, I was playing against the bot, um, and the bot was, uh, I don't know. Um, I think there, it's an okay challenge. I think it would be better maybe in, in other scenarios than this one in uh, particular. Um, but uh, anyway, you can see the the planes when they're at high altitude, they got the white outline. Uh, when they um, dive and they go down to low altitude, they are um, they have the the um, uh, blue outline. So it uh, gives them an, an additional uh, unit of speed uh, as well. Um, the zeros are very lightly armored. Um, it means they can't, um, they can only take one hit before they go down the American planes in this uh, scenario. I don't think I could have actually done that uh, shot the way it <laughs> turned out. But uh, anyway, the American planes can, um, uh, basically they can take two hits before they're destroyed. And uh, so we do some, um, uh, some, Cool maneuvering uh, here to uh, to to get those uh, Japanese planes we missed last time, and uh, so anyway we're we're already well ahead. The the Japanese uh, casualties are beginning to mount, as you'll see here in a sec. There you go. So um, yeah, it it was this was not a particularly this uh, uh, <laughs> hard fought battle, a close battle. Um, even though I, there was a plane there I shouldn't have destroyed. But anyway, there's a few mistakes here. Yeah, I hope you'll forgive me. Um, I played against my son, actually, and he took the, uh, the Japanese uh, planes and he absolutely schooled me. So I don't think this scenario is unbalanced. I think that uh, maybe the way the bot uh, is programmed to play this scenario is not particularly um, effective. But did uh, score some hits on me, though. Um, I did uh, manage to get a, a plane <laughs> for for that. Uh, um, anyway, um, the, uh, the the game itself plays pretty quick. It's pretty fun. Um, I love the uh, when a plane gets damaged, it gets that smoke counter underneath. I think it looks really cool visually, um, and it gives it a lot of uh, um, it gives it a lot of visual um, style, which I think is really neat. And those can also be doubled up for uh, uh, hits on ships or islands as well um, and uh, so the the clouds as well are, are cover so they can be utilized to uh, hide in they can be very effective for that uh, for that reason um, but I just wanted today I, again there's probably plenty of mistakes uh, in this playthrough but I just wanted to kind of give a, a sense of the game now there right there was a dodge if you uh, end up in an enemy's sights and you still are able to move then you can actually um, <clears throat> you can dodge you can actually move um, uh, one uh, space and uh, hopefully get out of the uh, the way of the uh, enemy uh, target uh, targeting there um, although I will say that the um, 
sometimes that'll lead to some interesting chain reactions where by dodging someone else ends up in your sights and so forth there's another dodge there so it can lead to some kind of interesting chain reactions that way and we finally get the last zero um, there so anyway I just wanted to get your thoughts on the format let me know what you think and thanks for watching this is legendary tactics Thank <laughs> you.